Good morning, fellow investors. Joe here. It is time for another Tesla technical analysis video. This is not investment advice. It is just for education and entertainment. And make your own investing decisions and consult a financial professional, of which I am not, although I have been investing since 1996. And I've learned quite a bit along the way. So, it's been a week or so since I made an update on Tesla. I am pleased to report that um, it is behaving quite well. So let's zoom in, well not zoom in, but let's take a look at the month of June. First of all, we see that it's really tightening up. This is quiet price action, and that's a very positive sign. Um, quiet price action often precedes uh, a breakout and I'm going to say that it's probably a breakout to the upside. So <clears throat> we had a retest at 550. And ever since then, it's been crawling back up. Well, our next big technical move will be a push above the 50-day average. That's this green line. Personally, I'm going to buy more shares when it closes above the 50-day average. That's going to be our signal that um, the beginning of the right side of the base is forming. I'm confident that this is going to happen because most of the EV stocks, well, the quality EV stocks, Lee and NEO um, specifically, are already starting the right side of the base, and Tesla's just been la lagging behind, which makes sense because it had such a spectacular price explosion in 2020 but we saw the model s plat unveiling and while that didn't and that was just four trading days ago while that didn't um amaze the market initially i i think more and more positive articles are coming out on it and investors are realizing what an incredible uh, machine it is zero to 60 in under two seconds etc let me show you the neo and Lee charts quickly and I will show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so here is uh, Lee Auto. It's a Chinese electric vehicle manufacturer and as you can see it is well on its way up the right side of a base. Um, it's looking a little bit extended right now. Here was a good breakout point right about 27 better breakout point would have been 21 wouldn't it uh, you got a bunch of price congestion here so it's probably gonna make a pause here but I would think I expect that in the next few weeks it's gonna power through this congestion and rechallenge 50 um, I'm not in the stock right now but I definitely will think about it um, in the next few weeks if it does what I said and then if we look at NEO, here's NEO, and it's really carving out a nice flat base, and it's working very quietly up the right side of the base. I like this price action a lot better than NEO, honestly. Um, slow and stable, so much better than these wild swings. And if you look, there's some big buy volume down here in June. So, And I actually am in NEO. I think I bought it. Uh, I've held it a few times. Um, I should have just, <laughs> I should have just hold it, held it permanently, but I've been in and out a few times and I bought it again when it cleared right about here, whatever that is, 43 or something. And I expect it to gradually come back and re-challenge the all-time high. There's some congestion here around 60. It's going to have trouble getting through there, but I think it'll do it by the end of the year. We'll see. So uh, let's wrap this up. In conclusion, great price action from Tesla the past week or so. Um, just so nice to see after very painful February and March. But that's to be expected after a thousand point, a thousand percent move to have some turbulence, right? So um, I will be buying when it moves above the, closes above the 50 day. And you might consider that, too. All right. Um, thanks for listening. If you um, are interested in watching more videos, please like and 
subscribe and I'd love to hear your opinion. Do you think it's going to power through the 50 day moving average or do you think it's going to bounce off and resume its downtrend? Let me know.